All right, guys, we're at Tico Tico Villas in Man Juan Antonio, Costa Rica, on the Pacific side of Costa Rica. We're going to be walking through Tico Tico Villas because I really like this place. And I want to show it to you, and we're going to get to it in a minute. Guys, you guys know we're a travel agency, right? Just go to TravelCostaRicaNow.com. Uh, fill out the form. We'll get back with you and set you up a great vacation here in Costa Rica. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do. If you want to see videos, put them up. Hit the notification bell. Guys, we're on our road trip. We've been on our road trip now for about uh, 10 days, I think, or something like that. But we've been five days here in Man Juan Antonio, and we've been staying here at Tico Tico Villas. Now, Man Juan Antonio is arguably one of the top destinations to come in Costa Rica, Costa Rica because A, it's a beautiful beach town. It's got beautiful beaches. The National Park is a big draw. It's got the animals. It's got everything. So look over here real quick. This is the only road that goes through Man Juan Antonio. So it's lined with restaurants and bars and um, souvenir shops and everything. And it goes at the end of it is the National Park. So we like to stay here. I'm going to show you why we like to stay here. Let's go. Let's go. A, it's got two parking lots. Everything is, is lined up like this. So it's right off the road. This is a very busy road, actually. You got some parking here, and you also got parking across the street. Um, so it's never had a problem with, uh, like, security with your car here. This place is extremely private. Also secure. You got your own private key to get in here. You just can't walk in off the street. The bus stop is right here. Oh, shit. Yeah, the, there's a bus stop right here um, in front of the hotel. And the, and that's kind of key to know if you don't have a car, buses run all the time up and down this main drag. How, how long would you say this is? Is it 20 minutes to, to go from the bottom of this road to, to the National Park? Yeah. All right. Super secure. I kept the door open so we get through easy. This is a adults only, which I love about this place. Adults only, no pets. Hi. It just so happens the uh, lady that kind of oversees this place or knows a lot about it is over here. She's going to walk us through a couple rooms. Her name is Vernita. She works at TravelCostaRicaNow.com, putting together your packages. Where'd you go? Right here. Oh, my gosh. We're filming. Time's a waste. No, I'm just kidding. I thought you should camel on me. I was like, wait, wait, I'm time's ready. A, time's a-wasting. Wait, wait, wait. You need kale on my teeth? Nope. Okay. <laughs> All right, what am I doing? Just kidding. You're walking us through to the couple rooms. This is Vernita. Oh. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi, D'Angelo. I wasn't expecting to see you. We actually just did a video with Vernita. You're going to have to check that out when it goes up. <laughs> All right. So... Did you see this room the last time, I think? Uh, I don't know. Let's Maybe. see. So how many rooms are here in Tico Tico? In total, there's 12. 12. Six in the front, six in the back. There's two rooms that can do um, four people with two beds. Oh, is this the one that, that people can uh, kind of book it for longer periods of time? Is that well, actually, one? all of them. You can book all of them for a month Extended more. periods? Yeah. Oh, nice. And then this one is by level, so the bedroom is upstairs. And you have two bathrooms in this one, too? I was just telling before we came up, I love the fact this is adults only. Yes. No kids. No kids. Don't see them. Don't hear them. <laughs> no dogs. Don't want to. No <laughs> I like kids, but I don't want them here. <laughs> right. Is this a private patio or is it connected? It's a private patio. So everyone has like their own, either a front patio or a back patio, depending on the size of the room. We'll keep talking. You can, you can go up there and film, film. We obviously can talk. So we do have um, Canadians that come January to March. They take over the whole entire place. All of it? All of it. Just say this is their place to come? This is their place to come. And they book a year in advance. So when they're here, they book for next year. So anybody's thinking about coming here, 
<laughs> January through what? March? January to March, yeah. It isn't going to get in. Well, they might. Yeah, maybe. You got to try. We did have last year, we had a couple that um, they waited to the last minute and I had nothing available. And luckily somebody canceled and they're like, do you have anything available on like seven nights? That's very Come nice. On. I don't want to hit specific prices because they can always change. But maybe give a range if you can, just from like a the 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 one that would be like the cheaper one to the more expensive one without getting all detaily about it. Well, I, everyone always says to me, "How much is it?" And I literally say, "I don't know," because we have twelve units and we have four to five different seasons. We have national rates. We have um, tourist rates. Explain national rates. National if you're Tico, so if you're Costa Rican, or like me, I'm a resident. Yeah, you're a resident. You get a special rate. Right. If you're just a normal tourist, you have to pay that price. And then we're on other platforms too. So prices are different. And so I would say maybe range anywhere from, I don't know, sixty four dollars and up, depending on the room. So for anybody who doesn't know, high season is usually first of December to the end of March normally. Then there's low season, which obviously during low season prices are gonna be a little better. Exactly. So So and they have people in this other room, so we can check this one out. So all of them are kind of different. Yeah, they're all different. So basically, like, number one and three are the same. Two and four are the same. Seven and eight are the same. 8.5 and 7.5, which are the units that are up there. How long has this place been around? Tico, Tico. Let's see. I've lived here for 10 out of the 12 years I've been here. and. Yeah, when we started, so when the person built this hotel, he basically renovated the front ones. The previous owners did not take care of the property. So these all back ones, he tore them down and started fresh. Do you have any problems with the noise from the road? Yeah, but again, that's something we can't control. And that's everybody, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, Since everything is on the road. Right, and people always complain in reviews about the, the noise on the road. I'm like, well, I can't control oh, the road. Well, I don't think I've heard it it's not well no, what's well, been quiet yeah during high season in um Samana santa oh it's non-stop so we are here in may and i gotta tell you i mean i i love everybody that likes to have a bunch of people around them but i could not do high season in manuel antonio anywhere <laughs> <laughs> but low season this is a beautiful thing oh yeah you got the manuel antonio uh national park not to yourself but close and that's got the most beautiful beach in it Yep. And I don't know, it's just nice to be able to go down and park where you want. Exactly. So if you turn around, so this is a bi-level. So if you were a group of people, you could take this whole apartment here. So two people can be here and two people can go upstairs. And they have separate entrances. Oh, nice. So it's, oh, it's nice. pretty cool. Like we had a woman that lived here and her, her, the mom lived downstairs, the daughter lived upstairs. When they live here for extended periods of time, what what's that? Cut? Do you like? I don't know, do you do laundry for them? How, is that part yeah. of it? Or? So obviously, if you're gonna, the longer you stay, the cheaper it is. So monthly rates are cheaper than right. daily rates. And then we'll include like um, once a week cleaning, like a quick cleaning. And depending on the electric, depending on how much electric you use, you may or may not get charged for electric too. Yeah, there's not, we can talk about air conditioning, what, how people <laughs> abuse it. We can yeah, talk about I that. I don't understand why. I always feel like when you're at home, don't you turn off your air when you leave? Like the people here, they just leave stuff. I think on. they feel like they paid for it, yeah, and they and, and then so they, so they all and they always say it. That's the funny thing. They always go, "Yes, no problem. Yes, of course we'll turn it up." They never do. They never do. Never. We ha actually we do. <laughs> well, luckily, I do have keys. <laughs> <laughs> I can turn it off. <laughs> oh, we'll go in there. Now we we did a little trick. I'm just going to tell people we're staying in this room right here, and it's a you can you're good. It's I love this room. But I already went through it when it was clean because if we went through it right now, it would uh -huh. be, you know, three guys in there full of I stuff. know. But anyway, so <laughs> we're going to splice mine in there. That's fine. So, and we're going to get back to you after my splice. Okay. And we're going to continue walking. Um. All right, here's our room. We got Flat Eric holding down the fort. We used to take him everywhere in all our travels. He's been in a lot of places, a lot of, per a lot of situations. So we have a nice little porch here. Little jungly view. This is a really nice room. 
Uh, Matthew just bought this, taking it back home. Let's check it out. Got a TV, of course we never turn on. And, you know we have to we have to take our weights with us just to work out when we can. Been cooking eggs over here, making coffee. Got all the stuff. Our dining workstation, refrigerator, nice. Ah, uh, air conditioner, fan. Here's the bedroom. Another air conditioner, very nice. And another fan. Love it. Beds are super comfortable. Even for somebody's old back like mine. Got another TV that we don't turn on. Do people use TVs anymore at hotels? I don't know. Show you the bathroom real quick. It's nice. See, we got a fan up there. That water gets super hot, which is nice. I guess this is like a storage out here, I'm not sure. We haven't used it, but see ya. That's our room. I like it, it's been very comfy so far. Can we talk about the guests that's sitting outside? That's Flat Eric. <laughs> Flat Eric. We take we, we used to take Flat Eric. Flat Eric has been in a many many places. Probably the most interesting. He was on top of a, a volcano in uh, Nicaragua. He's been to Burning Man. Wow. He's known at Burning Man. People like him. Australia. Yeah. Everywhere. Uh, pretty much. Everywhere. Does he have his own Instagram? We. No. Everyone asks us about Shut that. Up, everyone asks us about that. Everyone asks us. He has his own photo <laughs> album on our coffee table, but. <laughs> <laughs> and I was gonna say something probably totally inappropriate about pics, but <laughs> with flat hair, but I thought maybe not. Don't honestly. do it. Oh, these rooms are empty too. I'll never want to see them. Uh, we're we done just with the rooms. Pick one, or it doesn't matter. We'll do the big one. At the the landscaping's nice. Well, luckily, Eugene, the owner, is a former florist, and of course, Costa Rica helps too because anything you put out here it just grows. You just put a stick in the ground and it grows. <laughs> Oh, that, that iguana is everywhere. Iggy. Iggy That's lives it. here. Iggy's over there. He, he came right up on our porch. Just yeah. He likes to leave surprises sometimes. And he will chase away some of the other iguanas. He looks old. Looks He's been old. here for a while. He gets used to everybody. So how adult is this pool? <laughs> Whoever I tried to ask that. I tried to ask, 10 PM, I tried to I don't want to know about it. I tried to ask that question <laughs> delicately. Stuff <laughs> happens. But I've been, I've been here know, before, there, you know. There are cameras. I've been here. I see everything. Oh, that's messed up. <laughs> that's so but I pretend like I don't. That's so D'Angelo. <laughs> All right, so this room, we just did an interview with you. This yeah. room is nice. Yeah, this is my favorite because it looks out into the garden. It's pretty cool. So everything's pretty much got a full kitchen. Yeah, so the ones in the back, like six, six, seven, eight, nine, they all have gas stove. Everything else has an induction cooktop. Yeah, we've been using it, making the eggs. So yeah, you can, like I said, people live here. And they, when they're living here, they rearrange stuff to suit <laughs> them. And they bring their extra, extra stuff. Like Canadians bring all their stuff. Their seasonings, maple syrup. <laughs> we have Canadian friends, and you are not lying. He brought in, he would bring, he had a whole duffel bag of his cutlery, uh -huh. of his herbs and spices. Everything. All that stuff. Yeah. <laughs> So you guys are in one, one of the biggest five. rooms. And then this one actually is one of the other bigger rooms, but this one's handicap accessible. So everything is to the level. So this is one you've been using after your hip surgery. No. <laughs> I actually stayed you, somewhere else. You are walking a little better. I, I think, thank so. you. I think so too. And Bernita just had some hip surgery. Went well. Now yeah. she's recovering. Yeah. Doing good. So there's a bedroom on each side, and then there's a big bathroom in the middle and you can 
roll your wheelchair in here, wow. take a shower. It is a big bat. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow. I did. Has this always been here? Always been here. This used to be before he did it. They've had like three or four four post beds in here because they used to host groups on this property. So yeah. this is all. Wow. I forgot here. about this one, I guess. Yeah. And this one, the iguanas love living on the roof. So I tell people whoever stays in this one, if you hear anything on the roof, it's probably an iguana. We've been hearing a lot of stuff on the roof. It sounds like coconut trees, but coconut's dropping, but there's no coconut over there's us. No mangoes. There's mangoes. But, but it's loud. Yeah, it's it's super, super I know, loud. I because you're in the one where the, they just cut, that, cut back that tree while I was gone, but I can still see mangoes on the ground. So it's mangoes. Yeah. So... So we've been enjoying our five nights here during our road trip. It's been great. Man, Antonio has been fun. There's plenty of things to do here. Guys, if you're interested in this place, hit me up. Hit, go to Tico Tico. Don't even mess with me. I don't want to hear about it. Go, <laughs> straight, go, go straight to the source. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for needing to show us. All. Welcome. Guys, I'm Mike Lowne. Did we, did, did we even say D'Angelo was Night when we first started? D'Angelo's here. Yay. <laughs> Guys, things are going to... You got to get back. So... Guys, things are going to pop up. Think about living or traveling anywhere. Always do your homework and research. And if it's Costa Rica, we're going to put our videos against anybody's. Yeah. <laughs> Love Tico Tico.